What's up guys, Rick with Raleigh Sport Direct here and today I'm going to show you how to replace your stock end links on your Mark 7 GTI with these awesome Cartboy solid aluminum end links. The installation is super easy, it takes all of about 30 minutes. Let's get started. With the wheels off, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is use our six millimeter triple square. We're gonna insert it into the end link stud there. And then of course, we're going to secure that down so that stud won't just sit and spin. And then we're gonna take our 16 millimeter and remove this nut. Once you get the upper nut off, now we can focus on the bottom nut and bolt. Simply grab your 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket and just zip it right off. Pull your bolt out and remove the end link. With the stock end links out, now we can install the Cartboy end link. Now, with this end link, you're going to use the two supplied spacers on the bottom to make up the difference. And then of course, we're going to reuse our factory hardware. Now, the easiest way to install this in the control arm itself is to actually get one spacer, put it down inside, start moving the bolt through, but don't put it all the way through. Then move your Cartboy end link and you'll notice one side has a smaller diameter hole compared to the other. Of course, we're going to use the small diameter and run that through the end link. Again, not all the way through. And then put your other spacer down in and it should fit nice and snug, which also helps keep everything aligned. Put your stock nut back on and we'll tighten that up here in just a bit once we get the top secured. Moving on to the upper portion of the end link, we're going to be using all of Cartboy supplied hardware. And so you'll grab your supplied bolt, put a washer over it. You're going to want to put it through the end link. Use the supplied medium size spacer. Might be helpful if you're having a hard time putting it through the sway bar to lift up the control arm slightly and then you just want to guide it into the sway bar hole. And last, we're gonna put a washer on this side and then of course the nut itself. Now, one thing to be aware of is the factory nut was 16 millimeters. Cartboy supplies 17 millimeter nut and bolt. So just grab your 17 millimeters and we'll tighten this down. With the upper portion done, we're just going to tighten up our lower nut and bolt. And your end link is installed. Simply repeat the steps on the other side, put your wheels back on, double check, make sure everything is tight. And that's it guys, we are done. But I wanted to take a moment just to show you the aftermarket end link versus the factory end link. Now we should expect a little bit better performance with these Cartboys, but honestly, looking at this factory one, it's actually not too bad right out of the box, but the biggest advantage is just going to be the strength and also the service ability. With these factory end links, it's not uncommon to break these little studs off or just have the ball joint go bad on you. And also of course, the risk of actually breaking the end link itself, especially if you're running aftermarket sway bars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do want a set of these awesome Cartboy end links, I'll throw a link in the description down below. That's all the time we've got for you today. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.